Hello there everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Now I'm hoping to use my time to mostly talk about the Resident Evil movies today unless something really bad happens. Oh wait, hang on, what's that? Quarter past ten. Ah, now that I can do. So yeah, I, I sort of started saying last time but the Resident Evil movies are an odd sort of anomaly. What's that? Is the way down underneath the bed? What the hell? No, we need to do it that way. Oh. Yes, there's a way down underneath the bed. Well, thanks for that, Grandma. So, yeah, the Resi movies are strange, because it's like... They have nothing to do... Oh, shit. They have nothing to do with the games. Not really. They have a vaguest connection to them at all. Usually, it's just, like, names and... We're not even on the map anymore. Names and locations. Like, if you actually look at the first Resident Evil movie. Oh, this oh, is nice. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so much fucking pleasant, isn't it? I'm not going to pick that up yet. More enhanced handgun ammo. So wait, oh, well, that's interesting. Red key card. So just go running for the exit. Oh shit. Maybe not that way. Oh! Yeah, have some flame up here. Nope, that's not going well. Missed. Hello. Missed again. Oh no, no you didn't. Fuck off. That's unfair and you know it. Yeah, right, bugger you. Oh god. Alright, back into the save point, because I'm going to need it. I also need to sort my inventory out. Oh, God. So, I need to look at this again. Some sort of... I hit something nice here, try to find it if you can. Yeah, something about a cage and a head on top. I don't remember that. Maybe I'll go hunting for it at some point. You are drop off, you are drop off, you are drop off, you are drop off. You I need to keep. Definitely you I need to keep. And you I'll keep too. But we got more ammo. Uh, we got more ammo. We got more inventory space now, so that's nice. Other save point. So, the Resident Evil movies. I mean, if you actually look at the first movie, like, there is almost no connection to the games at all. Like, if you actually look at them, you have none of the characters from the game show up in there. You have Umbrella, sure. You have Raccoon City Mansion. You have the vaguest hint of a mansion. And that's it. But, like, literally, that's, that's all you get. Yep, come and get it. Oh, this did not look like this before. Hello. Right, well, that's a thing. Oh, yes, dear God, yes. Well, it's a start. Mommy took me to the hospital in town. They took a photo of my head with a weird machine. And then mommy bought me a 259 piece puzzle from the toy store. Stupid well, Oliver keeps teasing me, you're a crazy head. I lied to Oliver, I told him to come over for my birthday party, then shut him in the attic from outside by remote control. He keeps crying, let me out, Lucas. I changed the remote control so stupid Zoe can't get into the attic. I, I melded it with one of her 
Inventor's Contest Trophies. Now she'll never find it. Inventor Contest Trophies. Okay, that's a thing. Anything there? Okay, well, we'll keep looking. Hmm, strange. Just weird looking pattern on there, that's odd. It's broken. Ooh, herb. And a note. Oliver stopped his yelling, but some, sometimes I hear knocking from above. It really stinks. Sometimes we're juicy dripping from the ceiling anyway. Since I had time, I changed the remote control trophy again. Now it'll be shiny even at night. Oh, so it's a light? Found it. And another lockpick. What's that? Supplements. So I think... Oh, there we go. Something about banging from upstairs. That's a good sign, isn't it? So the first Resident Evil movie is barely even connected to the games. And, I mean, to be honest, the connection to the games has always just been names. That's it. Ooh. Hey, happy birthday video. If you watch all the videos, you get an achievement. Uh, renovation contract. Customer Jack Baker. Construction period. Installation of shadow activated doorway in main hall. What the hell? Shadow activated doorway in main hall. Toy act. Oh, okay. And a model shotgun. Why do we need these items? Oh, shadow activated. Yeah, shadow activated. I get you. These things. Yeah, because shadow activation is totally a thing. So we need. Two and axe is definitely flip it 180 and more or less got it. Wait for it. Close enough? Close enough. Judgment. That's the title of the picture. Okay, so we got another key card. Which I don't have enough space for. Why do I have toy items? That's weird. Um, Alright, guess I'm going to have to go sort my inventory. Be right back, guys. Hold up. That I saw. I mean, I might have to shoot that one. I'll do it later. So... Best way to get to a safety point. I'm hoping that this route is still available. A quick look around for that cage with the head on it. I mean, if I had to guess. Can't catch me. Close the door, please. Thank you. Yeesh, bloody doors never close when you want them to. Okay, so I can get rid of that now. You I need to watch. You are store, you are store. You I will store. Store those and that and that. I'll move you over to there. Still gives me plenty of room. And we'll also save while we're here. <laughs> this is getting nerve-wracking. Need to concentrate. Okay. I'll tell you one thing I did notice watching all the Resi movies back to back. I feel like they were designed in pairs. You know? Like, if you look at the first Resident Evil movie, it was clearly made with the second Resident Evil movie in mind. Like, they made it and they thought, yep, yeah, we can get a sequel out of this. 
and while they did sort of end Resident Evil 2 with the nod that yeah we could probably do another movie out of this I don't feel it was like the point like so okay we could end it after the second one but and then it's like it was open-ended enough for a third but not like directly you know no no I don't want to go down I want to try to whack the bubble head looks like we're gonna have to use a bullet which is annoying but I'm an achievement whore all right what's gonna show up and attack me anything anything at all oh, okay And then you look at the third one, and that was clearly all designed with it's kind of another two movie sort of saga going on in the sense of you've got the whole uh, post apocalyptic setting all of a sudden, and um, you. Uh, so I just had a thought. There's a video record. In fact, oh no, actually. I'm going to go down to the cabin and watch it there. Because that place is a good place to be messing around with stuff. Hi, what the hell do you want? Hey, buddy. Remember, those two key cards will get you into the party. Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no! You gotta show up first! You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. <laughs> so come on, man! Everybody's waiting for you! You're such an asshole. My real question is, do I go looking for that treasure? Oh, shit. <laughs> Double shit. Okay. <laughs> wow. This type has little help. It walks on all fours and very fast and nimble. Make sure you get shots in whenever it stops long enough for you to do so. Yeah, I kind of worked that shit out. Apparently fire doesn't work so well on those fuckers. Alright, let's try that again. We're probably going to have to deal with that fucking phone call from the prick. Yep, yeah, alright. Well, maybe if we can skip it. If not, it'll give me a chance. So, as I was saying... Hey, buddy. Can we... Remember, now we can pause, but we can't skip. Well, let's pause that thing. Um, so yeah, if Let you look at them, me. first two Resident no, Evils, no, then three and four, and then five and six. Here's the thing. I was watching the final chapter. Um, it wasn't last night. It was the night before that. And... I really got the impression that, like, despite the fact, all written by the same guy, like, I actually went online and I checked. Every single of the Resident Evil movies, all written by exactly the same person. Nothing wrong with that. Because it should lend itself to consistency. But, and that's the odd thing I noticed. I noticed in uh, Resi um, 6, the 6th Resident Evil movie, that they just retconned a bunch of stuff for some reason. Like, I, I literally don't know why. It, it was the weirdest thing. So where's this red key card? Yep. So we've got this third treasure photo I need to work out. It looks like a place in the basement, doesn't it? I really don't want to go wandering around down there. Because <laughs> that's not going to be good for me. There's too many monsters knocking around. But it definitely looks like a place in the basement. What I might do is I might... 
wait until we're between episodes. We've got another five minutes. I can probably watch the videotape. I'm going to watch the tape. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know it's not a videotape. That, however, is a videotape. So let's watch it. This is going to be another playable one. That's cool. Happy birthday. Experiment. Can trespassing idiots solve puzzles? You, my friend. You are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, I, I actually envy you. What? You don't believe me? <laughs> this toy? Well, you can't fake this. It has taken me weeks to finish this. And it is finally ready. And it's all for you. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. It's going to be fun. Just you wait. Dude, why don't you just push him over and run? Like, really, I saw the opportunity there. What the hell is this? Well, that's the thing. Hey, look, I've got a candle. How old school. So I'm presumably playing this kid that he kidnapped. Well, this guy, I don't think he's a kid. Judging by the height. Okay, so I guess we're doing this now. Bollocks. Oh, well, at least the lights are on now. Okay then. Fuck you. So I need to relight the candle, do I? Nope, not that. Okay, that's fine. Lovely. Ah, oh, fucking disgusting. Lovely. Still, it's usually important, because, like, dirty telescope. Okay, that's a thing. Nope, doesn't go there. And no, nope, not that either. Okay, so we have a telescope. This has gotten very strange. Candle isn't lit. Some weird code. And a winding key. I get the feeling this is not going to go well for me. Like, this dude is clearly going to end up dead. Nope. Okay, let's try that. Not that either. Any hints at pictures, perhaps? This looks like a rather creepy looking birthday party. So things have gotten very saw, I would say. This is saw. Oh, hang on, what's that? No water. Well, that was useless. Missing, oh, missing a finger. Right, so I need to find his finger. Okay, I'm officially very confused. And I'm also completely and totally out of time. Oh. That'll work. But we can't get past there because of the water. Nope. Um. Hmm. 
Nope, nothing there. Oh, can I burn the rope? Yes, yes I can. Oh, it's lovely! Balloons! Why are they all black? Oh, and I just noticed I'm completely out of time for this episode. So, this got weird. Like, this just literally just turned into a bleeding sore film. But I don't mind that in and of itself. It's weird, but I get the feeling this is going to play into the future. Like, the last time we watched that Mia tape, that showed us the layout of the house beforehand. So this is clearly showing us the layout of his little puzzle game. So it kind of gives you a, like, like a little advantage. You watch it in a safer environment. You know, quotes, safer. Um, so yeah, it's all weird. And it's very strange. But we'll keep going, because I'm a professional. <laughs> professional, in air quotes. Anyway, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please remember to like, to comment, and to subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode, guys. Bye!